Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a diagram like this one. It's a uh, stacked or compound multiple bar chart um, based on uh, various variables that actually all use the same scale. So let's first have a look at my data. Uh, in here I've asked people about uh, the teacher and what's quite important is that all of these should be having the same exact uh, values. Uh, so no spelling differences or uh, capital differences. Uh, just in case you might want to right click, copy and drag down, right click, paste. Once you're sure they're all the same you can go to analyze custom tables, custom tables. Okay. I'll reset mine, yes, then select all the variables that you want to see, so using shift all of these can go into the rows, and because they all have the exact same one, you can actually change the category position into row labels in columns. If this option doesn't work, it means one of your options uh, has a different values, so you want to uh, copy paste like I just did. Now I want them in percentages, so I'll change the summary statistics. Uh, I don't want to see the count, I want to see the row and percentages. Apply to selection. Um, I don't need these column headers, so I'll hide them as well, and I click on OK. Now this is a table and I want a diagram, but before I flip this table into a diagram I want to convert these to go here and these to go in there. Double click on the table, pivot and then transpose rows and columns. So this is all the data I want to see, so I select all of it and then using a right click, create graph bar. And now I have a nice multiple bar chart where they're actually all next to each other. I wanted them on top of each other so I double click on the graph to get the chart editor and I click on one of the columns and then actually all of them are highlighted. I go for variables and at the statistics it here mentions X cluster which I'm gonna change to stack apply and now they're all on top of each other. Uh, because these labels are quite long I actually want to flip also the coordinate system that way and the long labels go to the left and the values I'm going to try to change as well to percent close and there we have it. 